Hello everyone, I'm Rose and this week we are talking about going skyclad. Um, for those who don't know what uh, going skyclad means, it means that you go naked during your ritual or like spell word, tarot reading or whatever. Um, if I have to share what I do, yes, I go skyclad and um, it's just the way how I feel the best with it. Um, I only do it when I'm at home, so <laughs> if I go outside in the nature and do a ritual, I will never go uh, naked, uh, just for a reason. Imagine if you're doing a ritual outside naked and people come by, yeah, that would be very awkward. So um, it's for the best of everyone that I don't do that in nature. Um, also, um, I've been uh, watching the other videos of the other people, like uh, the hosts, and um, I think it was Ginger Fry who was talking about um, what if you go into a coven and they do uh, their ritual skycat, would you do it or not? Um, honestly, I don't know. It uh, depends. Like, if um, it's a coven with all women, I might do it because I don't feel bad about my body. Um, so, yeah, but if it's with guys or men in uh, the coven, I don't think I would do it. Uh, just for a reason, if I have a husband or a boyfriend, like I do now, um, I don't think he would agree with it that I uh, do stuff naked with other men around. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, checking my notes, what I was going to say. Oh, okay. Um, if, like, uh, the reason why I go skyclad is because... Um, I feel more connected with nature, with the elements and the god and the goddess when I go skyclad because it's just your pure self. Also, before I do a ritual, I um, always take like a ritual bath to cleanse myself or a shower depending on how much time I have. And then, uh, sorry, I have a cold. Um, and uh, after that ritual bath, you're all clean. And when you put clothes on, after that, the energy of those clothes or on your body again, and I do have the feeling that it, um, like it messes up the energies because it then it's not your own energy anymore. So, um, like when I do an energy ritual, like when I have to get a lot of energy working out, I want to have my own pure energy. Um, so that's the main reason, honestly, because I don't want to have my clothes messing around. Uh, with the energy work. Um, also, uh, another reason uh, why I go skyclad is because when you are doing a ritual in your circle, it always gets very hot. Like that's what I feel. Um, it's like all the energies in your inside you, around you, and sometimes it gets really sweaty. So uh, I feel more like I feel better when I don't have those clothes on because then it's more like. Uh, yeah, then it's not so hot. <laughs> um, uh, something else that I wanted to say. Oh, yes. Um, some people uh, might feel awkward when they go naked, even when they are alone. But um, I'm used to be, like, naked all the time. Like, when I come home, and it's like in the summer, I just take my clothes off and I walk naked <laughs> around the house. Um, also, when I was a kid, I lived alone with my mom. And we used to just to take off our clothes and walk naked around the house. Like, that was our daily thing. So, um, yeah, it might be weird that some, like, some people might think, like, what the fuck, what are they doing? But I don't know. Uh, me and my mom did it. I don't know why we did it, but it just felt good to be free. Like, when you take off your clothes, you're just yourself. And I don't know, it, it's, it has a good feeling to just, be there naked. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's everything I have to say about this. Um, so it's really just upon you. Um, do you feel good with it or not? Uh, I do feel good with it. Uh, if you don't feel good with it, you just don't have to do it. It's your own choice, really. Uh, if you find a coven and they go skyclad and you don't want to get skyclad, um, then that's your choice. You don't have to be there. Um, and yeah, also, uh, I forgot to say that one, uh, when there is like a Sabbath and I have my period, I will never go skyclad because yeah, 
I don't want to get stuff messy. So uh, I think that's everything I have to say. Uh, I'll see you guys next week and blessed be.